Hey, love bugs. This is Prowls back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs, my grown, extended, beautiful family. As always, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you've been feeling, um, if you've been watching my videos and have not, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And um, I hope you're able to, you know, resonate with the video. And if you do, please go ahead and share. It will be greatly appreciated. The video I'm doing today is called Twin Flame 101. You see the horns while you're wearing your crown. If that ain't so true, I don't know what is. You know, um, when you're allowing yourself, you will go through different things in your life that really, really will show you you are truly a warrior. Your, your, your faith will be tested. Your patience will be tested. Your belief will be, take you know, you know, tested. Your focus will be tested. You know. All those different things are going in and you know sometimes we get frustrated we can get mad you ready to fight you ready to fight everybody including God and the daggone devil you know I mean you ready to be just you know you be just flicking off the daggone devil like if you don't go somewhere be ready to kick rocks you know hit your face against pavement I don't care what you do you know but just leave me alone you know and these are the different things if you you know you have to really show yourself and sometimes you have to do that self coach talk it is so easy for us to push negativity on our lives. It's so easy for us to sit up here and allow ourselves to um, really say, see everything from a negative perspective, a, a pessimist perspective. But at times it's like, if I wasn't really tested, how would I know how bad I want certain things in my life? How I'm determined to make change take place in my life? If y'all see that burning, that's my incense burning. Um different things in my life that had to really take place to really make me feel like you know what I'm determined because they'll be just like okay if you want this car like if you wanted a car you've been saving up for it but it'll be just different things to where all of a sudden you know uh, your, your other car don't broke down so now you having to find either you're gonna have to get some money to put you know take some of that money that you were tested about with saving for this other car now you're gonna have to end up fixing this car or you may be having to take ubers every day or you have to take a train or a subway now i said from what i don't know i haven't took a man i haven't took a i don't even know how much subways and stuff cost because i never had to go on a subway i would love to actually go on one just see how it is but i never had to go on a subway or a train before so i would really never know if that's expensive or not but um uh, it, it's at that point where uh, you go through different things to be able to get that and it's just like how bad do you want this car and it's just like you know I'm doing little odd end jobs you know I may be you know when I got this car fixed now I got to do DoorDash you know maybe I'll be doing this different stuff like that now you can it, it's just like you can participate in different things you know to earn some money on the side you know and um now it's just like when you went through those different things now you okay now you had to get a second job now you had to do this you know now you had to do that and when you finally end up getting a car it'll have you a whole new appreciation just on how determined you were and that's how you know that's the best example i can really get you know it's like you really just say you want this tesla or something like that you know and you you got this beat up you know uh uh pinto or uh a dago escort or something like that you know or whatever and it's like things keep breaking down either you need a new tire or you know you got to step back at the job or maybe you know because especially with when the pandemic came in a lot of things got closed down and people started getting scared like look I got kids I got you know uh, to sit up here and take care of excuse me I got kids to take care of I got bills to pay how am I gonna do this with all this pandemic going around and thank God you know it was like helping people out in the best way they could possible you know there were some people that you know where even it's affecting people that you I mean people that you live in an apartment complex is people that you have to pay rent to they're even suffering because the fact is they know you can't have you don't have the money to sit up here and go through that and it was just a blessing there was a lot of people those celebrities out there that was you know paying other people rent for you know for a couple of months to help them get through on different things that they had to go through and I felt like that was such a blessing but you know you're going through different things in life where you gonna have 
um, certain distractions in your life. I was up here trying to do the video earlier, <laughs> and this damn old fly kept passing by here, and I'm like, pom pom example you know you trying to sit up here and do this video and a daggone fly done came in and it's really starting to you know fly around you I ain't never had a daggone fly fly around me like that during doing a video like that so it was annoying but it was just like this is the, this is the thing that we're talking about this is an example when you know you trying to do something and be professional about it you gonna have like a little net a little you know bug fly whatever that keep coming in and distracting you that's the whole point are you going to allow that fly to stop you from what you're doing? Heck to the no. I'm going to keep on allowing myself and go. You know, and just go. But there will be different things that you're going to go through in life. And sometimes we really are not going to like what God puts on our plate for us to have to deal with. You know, you deal with a lot of different things. You may be suffering from addiction. You you you, you know, you may be feeling lonely because you don't, you know, everybody don't walk out your life. You know, you may be feeling hurt because you had, you know, a marriage just um, fell apart. You're going through an awful divorce. It's very ugly. Or you going through a harsh breakup, you know, where you, 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 a lot of times it feels hurtful because we keep on allowing ourselves to, you know, go walk down memory lane. It's like, no, you know, it wasn't even like that. And this and this and that. Or maybe, you know, you, you prayed a lot of times. Like, you know, God, I pray that, you know, me and my husband's, you know, uh, marriage of work out or me and my wife's, you know, marriage will work out. Next, you know, all hell don't broke loose. It's because God said that that wasn't you praying for something. I'm trying to tear apart what you doing. You know, different things like this is ha happening up. You hitting karma every every where you go. You getting karma hitting, you know, because it's telling you to make better choices of the company you keep better, cho making better choices of what you choose to focus on. Do whatever you don't place your, you know, don't place your your focus on that is not towards nurturing yourself, bringing different things in your life. This this gonna invest in you as you gonna invest in it, you know. It I'm gonna allow this karma to keep hitting you. I'm gonna allow you know, or you you don't set back because you don't got in that comfort zone to where you don't want to do things. Now all of a sudden God done make it hit fan, you know, because He said I had to. You wouldn't have moved. You know, I'm going to make things keep getting bad for you until you start making better choices. I keep telling you, I got something better for you. You know, it could be when you're at a job. You know, you are really at a job. And then you could be at a job to where at first you liked it because, you know, the pay and, and the benefits and, you know, and all these different things. And then you get the weekends off. You know, shoot, who wouldn't like something like that where you got weekends and holidays off and you get paid on holidays. If you get a furlough day, you get paid that. Or even if you have to stay longer, you know, you get time and a half. And all of a sudden, you start having issues with coworkers. All of a sudden, you're doing your job and you're doing everybody else's job. And the one day you want to slack off and all of a sudden, the boss is, he ain't seeing all the other folks as being lazy. But all of a sudden, when you start slacking off and saying, shoot, he been letting other folks do it. I'm going to go ahead and chill today. Uh, what are you doing, Stuart? What are you doing, Jimson? You know, uh, why you, we're not paying you to sit up here and, 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 and be moping around, picking your nose, picking your butt, whatever. Why the hell you let them do it every day? So what, what was the point? I don't took a one day off. Now I want to ease for the day. Now all of a sudden it's a problem. You know, you got employees trying to, you know, you probably don't, you know, you ain't feeling good and you try to take a nap or something next to, you know, hey, you go check them out and see what they doing. You know, adding problems to you and you trying to understand. I've been at this job for 50, 11 months or whatever. And now all of a sudden I got this issue because God been telling you all the time. Because all of a sudden a headache start coming in. That money ain't looking good as it used to be. You know, the only time you getting peace and quiet is when you looking forward to holidays and weekends. You getting upset. You know, getting upset when you got to go to work on Monday morning. You know. Hoping that, you know, just praying on the way to work. I hope this daggone place don't light on fire. And some of the folks in it. You know, you be like that. And next, you know, you walk in and you in tears. Like, why? Because this place is still here and y'all are still here right along with it. You know, it'll be one of those moments. And this is telling you. It's like now all of a sudden you start getting written up for abortion. Insubordination. You being combative. Because, see, I used to get in trouble. I used to go off on my boss all the time. Because I was like... Ugh. The stuff I was knowing, I was in devil's den any daggone way. So I was just really reading it. You know, I remember it was like one day. I mean, it's not funny, but it's funny, but it's not. I'm like, sorry, not sorry. That was his job. And we had this meeting. And I, I mean, I really lit into him because it was at that point where I said, I'm tired of being tired. 
I'm gonna really give it to y'all today. You know, y'all don't sit up here and say, "Well, we gonna go all, go ahead and get all of it out, so we ain't gotta talk about it no more." I say, "All of it, no holes barred." And it's like, "Oh, okay." And they say, "No, I come back. I see two ambulances up at the daggone door." Like, Rosalind, what did you do? I mean, what do you mean? What I did? All of a sudden, such and such and such boss just done got wheeled out of here and have a heart palpitations. I'm like, "Shoot." Hey, I, they told me no hold bar. We ain't got to hold it back. We're going to let it all out. Well, I'll let it all out. Did you touch them? No, I did not. I just came back from lunch. What's going on? You going to drop some tea while I'm about to sip mine. <laughs> it was one of those moments. You know, you don't go through stuff like that. And all of a sudden, next time you do, you know, you don't lost a job. I don't have about 10 or 15 of y'all don't come up to me. Riles and I don't lost my job. But the first thing I'll ask you, I'll say, I'm going I'm to ask you this question. And I said that like that I'm going to deal today. I'm going to ask you this question. Did you like your job? This is how did you like your job. This is how many red flags that came up. They was telling you this job ain't for you. This job about to give you a stroke. You die today. Don't you know they'll have somebody in your in your place tomorrow? Is that really worth that? Because sometimes, you know, my mom used to tell me you, you taking on too much. Or certain things or you ain't putting on enough. Because I say, I even tell my daughter that if you know you being late every day and you taking your time, you really don't like that job, do you? No. I said, when you starting to do that where you don't, you ain't ahead of time at your job, that means you don't like it. So that means you need to find something that you're going to enjoy to where you ain't going to want to be late every day. Because I used to be that way. I was like, you used to do it too. Yeah, I didn't like my job. You know, I used to have to hit me a couple of joints before I had to go to work. And I knew to stop playing. I hit me a couple of daggone blunts to get to work. Because I said, if I don't smoke this, somebody going to go to jail. And it was at that point where God was telling me, you don't. If you, when the moment you had to go roll and break down and roll and break down and roll again. You don't have to, have to smoke about four or five of them daggone things for you to come to work and be all kumbaya. Yeah. You don't know why you all smiling. Because I'm here. You know, I'm like, shoot, I'm here, but I'm not here. You know, and I had to be like that. I said, if I'm not, all of y'all will be up, 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 you know, y'all be buried somewhere. I say, and everything in here is an accident. You get what I'm saying? You know, really like, Lord, Rosalind, you really like that? You know, and I had to go through different things that way. And it was just showing me that's not the job for me. You know, and I had to tell God I had three girls to take care of. I got a household I'm trying to uphold. You know, I'm trying to do what I need to do. I don't want to become a statistic. I'm not trying to do all those different things. You know, and he will really test you. He will have you going through it all the time, all the time. And they say, you know, when he bring me up out of that, then he give me the key evidence on the reason why I was going through so many different things in my life. Because he knew people that knew people that knew people. You know, and all those different things. I was like, are you serious? This is the reason why I was going through so much hell. This is the reason why. Da, 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 da. And I'm like, oh, okay. And got me mad. And they be like, mm-mm. Don't get mad. Don't get mad. We got that covered. Don't get mad. But we just, I'm going to let you know. I'm going to give you that clarity. He had to wait for a few years to tell me that, you know, make my dad on blood pressure go down. And he was like, okay, we don't unleash so much on you. We're going to give you a, a break. For a brief, brief break. <laughs> you know, for all the low, some more of the BS on you. Got to be all this. And it's just like you, you can look back at your life. And when they telling you to look back. Don't look back at it with a heavy heart, no anger in your heart, you know, no sadness in your soul. And a lot of times it's hard for us to do that because we are spiritual beings in human, in human form. We were shoved in this damn suit. We were shoved in that damn suit, you know, and we had to go through it. So it will be times where they tell you, look back. Look at all the things you have faced in the world. Look at all the things we don't push you to go through. Look at all the people that try to really just make break you in every kind of way that we don't make sure you build up in front of. You, I want you to see all the evilness, uh, evil, evilness out in the world. How many times I put you through hell and you came back, you ain't had no a lick of soot on you. You didn't even smell like you were even toasted. You know, flipped over just once or twice. You know. You know, medium well, medium rare, whatever. We didn't make you do that. And you still got your you still got your wings. You still got your crown. You know, you all have that crown on there. But I want you to show, I want you to see all the horns that's out there too. We had to let you be able to see that. Because a lot of times it, it'll make you even, at, at times it's sad where you will question God because there's so much devilish, out devilish 
out in the world. There's so many different things that's out in the world today to where, you know, uh, you really try to understand, you know, the devil needs to go sit down because he's doing too much. The devil busy, you know, but God's also busy too. You know, a lot of times it's hard for us to be able to see the goodness out in the world because so many people are trying to produce all the badness out in the world. It's like nobody can't, you know, nobody can't sit up here and have a good time without somebody trying to throw some kind of, you know, badness out in the world. You can't have something good where you can publicize, hey, I'm doing this, without somebody trying to throw shade on it, you know. Or you, you know, you doing good in life, so it, you, I mean, you can't even be a good celebrity. Like you can't even be happy about something for somebody throwing some shade on you. I'm like, I don't. Know. I'm seeing all of it today. You know, not just today, but I'm seeing it. And I'm like, you know, that's the devil written all over that. Congratulations, though. You know, whatever you got going on, congratulations. But you see where the devil working at. There'll be a lot of times where I have to, I even have to stop looking at YouTube because there'll be so much stuff coming up. I just seen a, uh, what was it, um, a video the other day, and I'm really trying to hope, I, I'm just like, oh, fix it, you know, I had to really pray on that, you know, where I was seeing where a girl is in court right now, I don't know when this happened, I know I heard about it, but I can't really remember when it happened, where her husband, I don't know, they, they I don't know whether she manipulated, or she was cheating, or she wasn't, but the husband kind of like, and you know what this mean and then she had to you know just to make sure she, her hands was dirty too and he's like no I didn't do any of that but I was like that was smart really smart you know what he did if this is what happened it really did happen the way she said it was I said oh okay cause he gonna make you regret that you even thought about it you know cause the man they called him at, at work Amber Crombie and he was a very handsome man you know and the husband he really wasn't you know, but it was at the whole point where, you know, you have mixed feelings, people saying, well, she shouldn't have cheated. Well, I mean, I understand you shouldn't never cheat on your your your, your, uh, your spouses. But it was just like when I looked at that man, I felt so much narcissistic vibrations out of him. People like, why didn't she leave? If that's a narcissist, she probably did. In so many different ways, because they show her beat up so bad because she went through DV, you know, badly. I don't know if that happened at that time, but, you know, she was hysterical giving her testimony. And it, it was just like, you know, you in a world like this, this is what we're doing to people. Instead of, you know, okay, yeah, if she did cheat, no, she shouldn't have cheated. If he was that bad, she should have tried to leave. But it's just like when you're dealing with narcissistic people, sometimes it's hard for you to leave. It's hard, you know, and, and you in situations like that. You know, and it's so many different things out here in the world where you see it's like the devil written all over it and it's chaotic in the world. But guys, in some kind of way, he dipped into that, you know, making it right, you know, making the cricket straight all over again. But it's just like so many different things like this out in the world where you can really see where the devil is. That's why a lot of times it's like when I watch so many of these crime shows and stuff like that, I'm like, let me go watch these animal funnies because I was watching some yesterday. I don't know if anybody who know who Fail Army Channel is, it's called Fail Army. When I say them folks had me dying laughing where you're seeing this one woman, I don't know where she was because it, it was like a really bad thunderstorm. And she was a journalist and she was like, it's so this and this and that. But you can tell she was like, it was somewhere in Australia or somewhere. And it was like some big rain. Like it, I mean, she was, I don't know if it was like a pier or something. But when she was talking, you see all, you know, thunderstorm. And she was trying to say something. When you see a big fish that hauled off and slapped her all in the face where you don't saw her soul just come out off the other end. And this is like in the first five seconds. I said, I already know this is going to be a video that's going to uplift my soul in some kind of way. But I was just like, did this woman's soul just get the smacked out of her? The itch smacked out of her by this fish? I already know this is going to be one of these videos that's going to really take me out and bust it out laughing in kind of way. And I needed that. I needed to watch a lot of stuff like that because they were just like, when I was seeing the stuff that they were dealing with, it was funny. And I said, I need to get into that because it's just too much hell raising around here. Even though it's just like man against nature, it's just not going to help. Because I remember this one woman, she would grip, 
you know, she had almost a depth grip off of it. It looked like she was dancing, like she was stripping. <laughs> it was like she was because that wind was about to take her little butt right down the street. And it was like, hold on, Marie. It's like, hold on, hold on. And I'm just trying to sit up here and I'm laughing. I just caught myself because, Alex, if you say one damn thing about me and my hey, Oka laugh, me and you all have it out. I'm going to spiritually turk you. But anyway, I had to stop myself because y'all be talking about hey, Oka's be throwing their head back and I had to catch myself. But anyways, you were having the death grip of that pole. And he was like, hold on, Marie. And I'm over here just dying laughing like, oh, my God. This is just too much. But that mess was funny. I was like, anybody ever like funny stuff because they got one. It was like the scare pranks, which I was laughing at. Then they had the one called man versus nature or human. You know, it was like animal versus human. And I was just like, uh uh-uh. There was this one, I don't know if it was a mountain lion. I have never seen a mountain lion run the way that was one. Because it was just like, I don't know. You know, I'm not an You know, I love felines. But it's just like anything that looks like that. I said, oh, they're so beautiful from afar. You know, because I'm like, no, I'm not trying to deal with all that. But it was like, you see the hands, the front of the hands just moving like this. And you see the back, the back moving fast. And the arms are just flying out like this. And I was like, is this okay? Is them hands just not working? Is, is, is this just like, is it deflected or something? Because I have never seen a, 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 a mountain lion. I think that's what it was. Either a mountain lion or a cougar or a puma move in that kind of way you know i'm usually you know you see them doing the long strides you know your little two strides and be there ten strides you know it's just doing this but when he was doing it it was like his hands were flapping like wings you know paul's flapping like wings and i'm just laughing but i'm scared for the man because he's like get away from me face you know get away from me shit ass. you don't know what he was doing throwing big rocks at him or something and he finally left like that's right and he was laughing i said oh i know you don't lost all bodily fluids you go ahead and stop that you know but anyways, it's like you're going through different things in your life. <laughs> you know, I had to throw a funny in there somewhere. But it's going through different life, things in your life where you're going to really see it. There'll be different times where I know I was in the middle of the hells then when I knew people I knew. And I seen things on their back. That may make me sound crazy, but anybody who is a hayoka, anybody who got a gift of the sight, you done sit up here and seen people face shift. Or you don't see harbingers. I always call them darklings or harbingers. Because sometimes you can smell it in the room with you. Like all of a sudden it smelled like somebody done fought it. You know, you know what I was like, what was that? It was like something done died and then came back and died again. Like it will be smelling like death. Like something done came back a lot like the walking death of 10 years in the heat. You know, it will be one of those moments. Like what the hell is that? I'm like looking at one of my cats like, did you just pass gas? Because that didn't come out of me. Nothing in his smell like that can come out of me like that. You know? And it was just like, no. And all of a sudden, you smell sulfur after that. Or you waking up with bruises and scratches and you know you're the only one in the room. Unless you beating your own self up at night. Let me see my face beat up my hands. You know, one type of situation. But it'll be different things like that where you'll really go through it. Because I tell people, after you don't went through spiritual awakening... All of a sudden, you start having negative talk like you don't need to be here. Everybody hates you. You need to end it. End it all now. You know your baby doesn't need you. You're, you don't need your baby. Kill your kids. Take your kids out. Even your husband. <laughs> you can be a widower. You know. You can be one of those. And it'll be something like that. Just some kind of negative talk. As soon as you find out, something, you have some kind of awakening. And it'll be just like the most, it's like the talk of dread. You'll get that. And you're trying to understand why something was telling you to drive off the cliff. Like you're just driving. You're already going through some stuff. Like you're going, you done hit dread and dread done hit back at you and say, hey, how we doing? We're going to be neighbors. You know, going to be one of those type of situations. And you just ready to really just go off the cliff. Or you'll do different things. And you're just really trying to understand how did I, you know, how was I able to do that? You know, because I had a situation. You know, it was like right after I had surgery, hysterectomy surgery. And then all of a sudden, I tried to end everything. And the way I did it, you know, taking as many pills as I did, they were like, they said you took 330 some pills. No, it was just 30. And you know, I said, shoot, I'm trying to get out of here. They don't see me as a 5150. I'm trying to get up out of here. I'm trying to be out of five. You know, I'm trying to go up out of here. And it was just like, how was I able to live off of that? You know, I was just high for five days, almost about a week or two, give or take. 
you know. And I'm just waking up, and I got all these weird white people in my house. And I'm like, wait a minute, why? You know, and there's none against white people. I got a whole bunch of white friends, but I'm just wondering why. Why on you on the south side of where I'm staying at? Why is there white people in my life, my house, in my life? Why are y'all doing this? Hauling me up there, you know, just mad, just going up there. We're going fifty one fifty. What the hell is a fifty one fifty? You know, it was a suicidal, you know, situation, and um, different things like that. But it was just like me really trying to go through that. That was when, you know, everything, they, they say that when people end up having those type of surgeries, you really go through, you will lose your mind. Some people have, you know, to where you have lost your mind and you had to go back and find it a few times. You're like, you don't lose your mind, you didn't find out you had the heart. Hit it from the chest. You know, it was one of those type of situations where you have gone out. And it was really showing you, you wear the crown, you the warrior, you got the armor. That was built in. Built in to last, like them trucks. You know, one of those type of situations, like built to last. You know, I don't know what kind of those S one fifties or whatever them them tundras, whatever it is. You know, and it, it's just like one of them Humvees. You built up like that, like you know, you take a licking and keep on ticking, and you really trying to understand why am I here? I'm ready to go. I'm like, no, you ain't ready yet. You know, God, be you trying to exit, you trying to get it in heaven. He's like, exit left, stay right. Just mush you all in the face. I ain't ready for you. Go to hell, hell done sit up here and got a restraining order against you. No, you more devilish than my ass. You got to go. <laughs> you know, you can't be raising hell like that. You put me to shame. You know, that devil even say, you put me to shame. You can't be up down here like that. No, you can't be up down here like that. We're, yeah, you acting up here while we down here. You can't be in here like that. But all these different things is, you know, be all serious aside, <laughs> you know, that's, you know, the trickster of us, you know, all the different things aside, you know, you're going to go through it, you know, when you're wearing your crown, you will see a lot of horns out there, you will really see a lot of horns out there, and these are the different things that's taking place into your life, where it's showing you, wear your crown, prepare for your throne, you know, you, you got something that is in store for you, for you going through all that. You know, it's like you didn't go through it just to be going through it. God didn't take you all here just to leave you. He didn't take you here to abandon you. You know, a lot of times you be really feeling like God and devil are on the same daggone agenda. You know, but it's like devil bre breaking you down. But God breaking you down to bring you back up. You know, the devil make it make it look like God done lied about every daggone thing in, in the world to you. But God will be that one that's just like, I don't promise you, but, you know, just for you doing this, I'm going to promise you more. I'm going to give you it more. I ain't going to promise you nothing because this is something I ain't going to tell you about. But these are the different things that you're going to have to go through. If you didn't go through this, you wouldn't see where determination was lying at. You really wouldn't know what you were able to be. You you wouldn't know what you were able to be going for. Being able to, there'll be so many different sacrifices. You wouldn't make sacrifices. This is that one thing you make ultimate sacrifices. You would never be like, shoot. It'd be like, is there a multiple choice to this? <laughs> you know the other things that you don't sit up here and say, is there a multiple choice? Because it's going to be hell to the up. I'm not about to sit up here. Yes, no, maybe so. You know one of those things. But this one is just like, yes, yes. Yes, you know, and you just be like yes, you know, one of those type of situations where you gonna, you know, whatever it is, is God telling you to let go of. You're gonna be like this, okay? You be dropping everything like it's hot, <laughs> you know, I'm like dropping like it's hot, dropping like it's hot. You gonna be doing all that? It's that one thing that you are gonna be able to make all your rights wrong and all your wrongs right. <laughs> you know it's going to be one of those different things I know I said that backwards My dyslexia came out But it's like you're going to make all your, your wrongs right That's what I meant to say But you're going to be doing these different things Is where it's really going to Really help you in different ways You weren't able to Because it's just like if you You wouldn't go through pain You wouldn't know what the strength is To be able to feel love again If you didn't go through hate you wouldn't even know what to, you know, be so determined so you can, you know, invest in, uh, uh, what is it? Just being able to invest in, 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 in strength. You know, you're going through hurt, you're going through pain, then you're going through hate, you, you're going to feel that compassion. You know, all, you had to be able to face the negativity to get to something that was beautiful and God-like. Because this is what he's preparing you for, something in his, in his way, in his way. That he done designed something for you and mine. You know, and that's what he's doing. And then you're going to go through these things and it's going to show you, you don't always wear the crown. 
This is show, everything that you're facing is showing you you had that beast in you that had to get reconnected. You know, you don't sit up here and put your all in it, all these different things that wasn't even worth a dime. You know, now I want to see how you can do it when you, when you, when you, when I'm telling you to invest in something that's going to be worth your while. This is going to be a blessing. That is going to be a blessing of an opportunity that only come once in a lifetime. And for that to happen, you're going to go through the most hellish stuff. The most hellish stuff. And these are the different things that's going to show you. This is going to be that thing that's going to show you that you wear your crown. You wear your crown and you're going to see all the horns out here. All the horns. Because it's going to be able to divide the good from the bad, the happy and the sad, the ups and the downs, the highs and the lows. You know, even the two shallows. You know, all those different things. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video, y'all. If you're new to me, I'm sorry. I, I get buck wild like that sometimes. I get a little silly. That's what I do. You know. Um, but I hope you were able to resonate with it. We're all going through some different things. And sometimes you got to put a little funny in there in the dreadful. You know, you have to be able to have a laugh to keep from crying. You have to be able to see the good even when you're facing so much bad. You know, it's, it's just going to happen that way. But I would love to give a post notification shout out. Um, to Little Nar, much love to you. And Rainbow uh, uh, XD. And uh, Lauren Harrison, much love to you as well. If you're new to the channel, it's so good to have you. You know, please drop a line. I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. I hope you have a blessed day. Weekend, be, please be responsible for everything you do. Whatever you try to manifest into your life, I'm sending so many beautiful blessings your way to make sure you get that plus 20 million times more and being able to stay consistent and persistent with yourself because the devil will have you trying to quit today just because your blessing going to come tomorrow. Stay persistent. Stay consistent. You know, be be safe and responsible for everything you do. Even through social distancing, make sure you give out love, light, positivity, words, vibes, frequencies. You never know. All those things really take somebody a long way. You'll see me on my next video. Much love to you. Peace.